Well, thanks very much. And uh, it's, nice, it's nice and cool in here. It's, uh, just walking over from the Capitol building, it's hot today, but uh, appreciate it. And uh, we've all we've been uh, just kind of energy and commerce on, uh, I think we had uh, seven, seven amendments we just went through in passage of, uh, of a bill getting out of committee. But uh, one of the things that uh, I serve on uh, telecom, and it's very, very important, is what you're talking about a spectrum right now and in the, in the need. Yesterday we had a hearing, uh, we had quite a few people in, you might have read in some of the uh, Hill newspapers this morning, as to what, uh, especially concerning the D-Block and what we're going to do about public safety. But what my bill is, is uh, H.R. 1622, and it's a, uh, a voluntary uh, relinquishment by uh, broadcasters of some of the spectrum out there that they would be compensated for. And that's one of the big parts of this, is that we want to make sure that they are compensated and it's not an involuntary because there's a, such a need out there right now for spectrum that we, that uh, that's what this bill addresses, to get, to get that out there. And, you know, when you're looking at on the spectrum issue, uh, what it can do is really it's about jobs, too. Number one, you know, when you look at the technology that's out there, that we can put more people out back to work out in the United States by uh, making the, uh, the product that people are going to have to have. You know, when you look at what you carry around with you, it's very, very important that we can get more people out there working. And on, on the second is that we could be reducing the deficit by the sale of the, uh, the uh, excess spectrum out there at this time. Because what we'd be doing, of course, is that uh, we'd uh, fairly compensate those that would have relinquished spectrum right now. And at the same time, the, whatever that uh, would not go to pay them would go back into the Treasury to reduce uh, the, the, uh, the deficit. So it's a very, very important issue right now. And there's going to be a lot of discussion because as we're working on this piece of legislation, the Energy and Commerce Committee right now is working on what we're going to be doing, especially in telecommunications, and Spectrum will be part of that overall bill. And so uh, in talking with uh, uh, Chairman Upton, you know, we've got the bill out there so we can start uh, getting the issue out to uh, the folks that are very, very interested on the Spectrum side. And with that, if anybody has any questions, I'd be very happy to try to answer them if anybody has a question. Hi, Representative. When are we going to see an Android version of your app? <laughs> That's funny. That's amazing. Well, I tell you what, we're, we're, we're trying to keep up on everything that we can possibly do, uh, especially on the new media caucus. Um, about, it's hard, you know, down here it's hard to, you can't keep track of it. It was a month ago, uh, six months ago, or a couple of years ago, but we were out in uh, Silicon Valley and meeting with all of the, uh, the folks out there, especially the smaller companies, as to uh, with, you know, the products that they're bringing out and bringing to market. And, uh, you know, it's absolutely amazing what's happening out there. And the other thing that we always have to also deal with is with, uh, uh, with franking and, and making sure that everything that we do, we can get approved. But really, I don't think that the, the House or Congress in general has really kept up where uh, the, uh, the, the new media has gone out there. So as, you know, as we keep going, you know, we're going to keep pushing because, it's, again, we have to get out the information to the American people, uh, the media that they're using. And it's not the old, you know, put it in the mail and wait for it to get delivered in seven days. So, you know, we're, we're really pushing to keep this thing going because otherwise, they, again, we're way behind where our constituents are. In terms of um, spectrum and using it as a means of raising revenue, um, how do you see the breakdown going in terms of R&D versus public uh, first responder networks? Or how would you like that to be decided? Well, if you're talking about like on the D block, uh, you know, the, the committee hearing that we had yesterday, I think we had, uh, it was either five or six witnesses, a very, very good uh, uh, hearing that we had. Because the question as to what's happened since 9-11 uh, and what they were trying to do at that time, it's, 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 you know, again, I hate to say this in Washington, but it sounds like we just wasted about nine years and about $13 billion that we're not getting back. And so we're almost like we're starting from scratch on this. And so that's where, the, where the, uh, the, the subcommittee right now on telecom is going. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do there, especially on the D block, and, and uh, you know, how much we're gonna, needs to be allocated right now and, uh, and how much uh, of that can be allocated somewhere else or how much we could get for it if we'd sell it. Um, 
One question. How long would you predict that this is going to take for the United States Congress to do, it work, do its work? This session, or is it going to go into the next you know, I'd session? I'd hope that it would be this session, because I think that, uh, especially in uh, ENC, that we want to get a bill crafted this, you know, this year. And so as we're working forward, I'd hope to see that we could get it done this session. Yep. Well, Congressman, thank you so much. Well, thank you we'll, very much. Appreciate it. We're looking Thanks forward to much. the Android version of the app. So <laughs> okay. thank you. Thank you.